Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be super duper exciting because I'm finally getting the chance to use my Anastasia Prism Palette. I purchased this, I don't even know how long ago to be completely honest with you. And I've been very, very busy with school and I just haven't had a chance to actually use it yet. So today is a Saturday. I'm finally able to just set aside some time. I have finals coming up, but I was like, I need, I want to film something, I want to do makeup. So I was like, I'm going to play with this palette today. I'm going to film a Bath and Body Works haul, which I'm very, very excited about. And then I may film another video, but this video is going to be mainly focused on the eyes using the ABH Prism palette. And then we'll do the eyes first, and then I'll kind of like fast forward through my face makeup with some music playing behind, and then we will finish up the eyes. But I really wanted to focus on this and kind of make a really like dark green grungy holiday eye. So if y'all want to see this tutorial, then please keep on watching. So I already have my eyebrows done. I wanted to do that off camera that way it was just over with. I used um, ABH Brow Pomade in Taupe, I believe is the shade. Oh no, I correct myself. It's not taupe, it's blonde. So um, I used that shade and I'm just going to apply some tape to the outer parts of my eye. And then for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use my Milani eyeshadow primer. Let's just all excuse my nails also if you see my nails because I need to do something with them, but I can't have fake nails. It sucks. So I just, I need to take the polish off and like repaint them or something. So if you have not seen inside of the Prism palette, it actually has really pretty packaging right on the front. And the inside is a typical like Anastasia layout. You get really, really beautiful shades in here. Um, the green shade right in the middle is what's definitely pulling my interest. So we will probably end up using this guy today. But there is not really a like setting your primer kind of shade in here, which does suck. Um, it's kind of like the subculture. So I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me powder and just a fluffy brush and run this over that Milani primer. So the very first shade I'm going to go in with is this shade actually right there. It is called Unity. And I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush. There's definitely not as much kick up as the Subculture palette. And I'm going to blend that into my crease. Unity in the pan looks honestly like my skin tone. So I think this is going to be a good transition shade. Maybe it'll give just like a little bit of color difference. Yeah, I mean, I love the Subculture palette. Um, I did do a video over it, and I've used it since then, and I love the palette. So it's definitely personal preference when it comes to this palette, but, like, this shade right here, this is the first shade I have used, but it is nice. Um, I don't see it oxidizing either like this Subculture. The next shade I'm going to take is Lure, which is a kind of mauve pinky purple shade. And on the same brush, and not very much kick up either, I'm going to apply this kind of right on top of that very first shade that we put down. Like I said, the star of the show is going to be that throne shade. I really just want to put that like all over my lid. It's going to look so pretty because it's like an emerald green. I like this shade so far. I really like how it kind of has that mauve look to it. Reminds me a lot of the modern renaissance. Now taking this shade right here, which is called Parallel, I'm going to apply that right into my crease. And I'm taking a little bit more of a denser brush. I really want to start to define that crease. That way when we put the star of the show down that throne shade, you're really still able to see the crease work that I did. And then we'll go in with like the purple shade again and blend everything out. I also have realized like over the past couple months, like when I do these tutorials and then when I kind of watch them back, my eyes, I have hooded eyes, at least I think I do because when I look at myself like in my mirror right here, you can see my eyelid, but you really can't see a lot of it. So I've noticed that whenever I do crease work like this, I definitely need to pull up here a little bit more. That's typically what I will do. Um, I like to pull the darker shades up. That way you can actually see the transition color. That way you can actually see the color that I put into the crease and that my, you know, my little eyelid fat, is what I like to call it, eyelid fat, doesn't kind of just hide it. So I'm going to take this shade right here called Throne and pack that all over my whole entire lid. I think I want to put a bit of glitter glue down or some Fix Plus. I'm not too sure which one I want to do yet. I'm sure this shade is absolutely gorgeous on its own, but I definitely want to put some Fix Plus just to be on the safe side of things. So taking my MAC 242, I'm going to dip into the shade Throne. 
Oh yes, that is the most beautiful em emerald green I think I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh wow. I feel like it is applying a tad bit weird, like maybe a little bit patchy almost. I'm really having to pack, not hard, but I'm having to kind of push down and it is transferring up. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should have put a glitter glue down. Okay, so I do not like this shade without a glitter glue, so I am wiping this eye off and I'm going to basically start over with this eye. It honestly looked like it, like it transferred really bad. It was real patchy, so I don't know what happened. So before I do this eye, we are going to put a little bit of the NYX glitter glue onto this other eye. And if this eye completely fails with this shade, then we will probably be using a different shade. So I'm applying the glitter glue basically all over my eyelid except I'm keeping the very, very outside of my outer V open. Okay, and then I'm gonna take Throne again and let's see if this seems to be better. So right off the bat, I feel like it's definitely more pigmented with the glitter glue. Okay, so I'm going to keep working on this side and I'll probably do this eye off camera because I want to focus on this and try to make this green shade work. It looks a lot better with the glitter glue, but it still is having a problem transferring up and also that probably is the shape of my eyes. So I'm going to take a little bit of Lure again, which is that mauve purple shade. And I'm going to try and blend this out. So it is making it a little better. I'm gonna go in with a more dense brush and we're gonna try, we're gonna start to pack on Obsidian. This is the Obsidian shade. It's basically just a black shade and I'm going to pack that on the outer V. I'm gonna start working that in with Throne and helping it blend. I didn't even have this problem with the subculture palette. This is crazy. And then back in with the very first brush we used. And then I'm gonna grab just a tad bit more Throne and focus that right on the center. It's a really pretty shade. I just feel like it definitely needs help to blend. Okay, so this is one eye. I know it looks terrible right here because of the tape and everything, but I'm going to do the other eye off camera and really focus on that throne shade. And hopefully it will look exactly like this eye because that's always my fear is one eye could ever look like the other eye. But I'm going to do that and then I'll come back before we start the face makeup and then we can kind of address the eye situation, see how we feel about it. Okay, so on camera, my eyes look as dark as my soul. <laughs> but I promise you not that's not the case. It's these lashes. I have never worn these lashes before. They are the Vegas Nay Eyelore Grand Glamour Lashes. I really like them. They're just a lot and I figured I'd try them out in this video. Um, I definitely prefer the band of the Eyelore Lashes. They're a lot easier to apply in my opinion because it's a really thick band that doesn't provide a lot of flexibility so it kind of just fits right onto my eye. Um, after I did this eye with the eyeshadow, I really like the way it looks. It's just that green shade I think needs a glitter glue every time I use it. And I'm gonna go ahead and make the assumption that every glitter maybe in here may need glitter glue instead of a Fix Plus. Maybe it just adheres better to your eye. I don't know, but I like the way it looks right now. Um, I like the green. This is just a real dark, like sultry look. But I am going to highlight my um, inner corner with Lucid. Lucid honestly reminds me of something duochrome. But I am going to apply our face highlighter on uh, our face highlighter on our brow bone. I just really want to apply this to our inner corner, and I probably will apply a little bit more after we get done with our face makeup. Plus it really adds like that extra brightness to the inner corner. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing our face makeup right now and then I will jump in kinda at the end of our face makeup to finish up the eyes.
Okay, now that the face makeup, it, face makeup is done, I like got tongue tied there for a second, we are going to finish up the eyes. I already did my uh, brow bone highlights, the same as the face highlight like I did show. I already have a black eyeliner on my waterline, so I'm going to take my flat definer brush, and I'm actually going to take the shade Parallel, which is that really dark brown shade that we used in our crease, and I'm going to push that up against our lower lash line. Once we have that brown pushed up, I'm going to take Lure, which was that uh, mauve pinky shade on a pencil brush and buff that out. And then taking Lucid again, I'm going to highlight our inner corner just to make it pop a tad bit more since we're done with the face makeup. And then I am going to apply some lower lash mascara. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara. And then I'm going to apply a lip color off camera because I can never seem to do this in frame. And then we will come back and then show the finished product. Okay, so this is the finished look. The liquid lipstick is matte. It's just still drying. It's the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Antique and what is this called? Antique Pink Liquid Lip. I love these. You can find a pack of four at TG Maxx or Marshalls. They're the bomb. They last so long and I absolutely love this color. I think it pulls into that mauve shade that we put into the crease. But this is the finished look. I really enjoy the eyes. I think they're dark and sultry and the green's really pretty and then the kind of mauve browns that we have on top of it. I love the lashes. You could definitely, um, you know, play down the lashes a little bit more, get maybe a more subtle pair. I think the lip color looks good with it. I'm really liking the inner corner highlight that Lucid pulled. It's almost like silver but with gold. So I'm super happy with this look. Um, it seems like every time I do a tutorial, I do very dramatic makeup because on an everyday basis, I wear very minimal makeup. So when I do makeup, it's like very dramatic and full coverage and like will bam in your face. Unless I'm like maybe testing out products or maybe doing like an everyday makeup routine. Normally my makeup tutorials can be pretty glam. But you can always change anything up to your personal preference, downgrade the lashes change the lip color maybe not apply so many eyeshadows just really up to you you can make it any way you want but I am in love with this look um, let me know if y'all like this style video where I really go in depth with the eyes but I kind of fast forward and play music over my face part whenever I do that type of makeup let me know what you guys think I hope you guys did enjoy today's video thank you so much for watching please subscribe and I will see you guys later bye y'all